Hello guys and welcome back to some more Kanemburnu, yes. The one and only Kanemburnu. We have been expanding, we've annexed our vassal Ayr, we have taken Oyo, and that's nice. Did I forget to core this? I did! Whoa, go me, I'm an idiot. Well, there you go. You're watching an idiot playing EU4 it seems. So it must be. It mustn't be that way, it just is. Can't help it. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. But yeah, so we did actually manage to kill off the revolt that happened, so that was nice. And we are now working tirelessly to convert them all to the proper Muslim faith. Islam is such a good religion this, in this game. Although, I mean, they did really quite update Catholicism, so I, I would really like to do a cath Catholic game at some point. There's just so many things I want to do in this game now. I just want to play all the nations. All the nations. This is probably this is. I mean, I know for a fact that this is my favorite uh, expansion pack so far. No contest. This has been great. Oh, this is so miserable. Oh my god. Such a sad thing. Uh, what do we have now? The Hausa people of Samfara have traditionally lived at least in part a nomadic life. Although our efforts to centralize have made this less feasible, people are used to it and expect us not to intervene. It does make Kanemburnu more difficult to manage, however, some of the Malik's advisors have suggested that we try to take control and restrict their movements. But this could be seen as trampling the way of life that made them successful in the first place. Ugh. Samfari is unruly enough as it is. So Katsina, hmm. So they are migrating from Samfara. To Katsina. I guess it wouldn't hurt having Katsina even stronger. Because I mean, the trade good is better here. And just annoying how you have to give them a more autonomy. Because that would bring them up to 60 autonomy, and that's kind of bad. Uh, but I do like the idea of having this like really good province, and losing that armor tradition is not very nice. How, many, how much do I have, anyways? Where's my tradition? I don't even know where I, where I can see that. Let's just have the game go in the background while I... No, actually, we need to make sure we click the right one uh, for the advent. Army tradition... It's not that good. Uh, but I really don't want to lo you know, get more autonomy. Nah. We can game back that, so... I guess we're just gonna do that. Get rid of some autonomy. Stupid autonomy. Get out of here. You're not wanted. Here's the thing. How big is the Yorumba culture? Pretty big. Might be able to get it as an accepted culture if we go conquer Benin. It's gonna make converting them easier as well. Not that that's any difficult, but hey, the easier the better. Right, we can build a building. Uh, we can build another marketplace, but I think we're pretty dominating the trade in this area. At this point, I think we own. Is there anything in this trade now we do not own? Except for the uncolonized ones? Yeah, we do not own Borgu. Other than that, we have 100% control. Yet all the trade is still going outwards. That's weird. Huh. Yeah, we only wield 26% of the trade. How did that come to happen? I'm guessing everyone is focusing on getting the trade out of it. Yeah, look at this. This is an awesome trade node and I don't get to be a part of it. That's something we'll have to change. For sure. Can't be having all this trade leaving my land. Trade must stay in Africa. Could we, even, could we send the guy here? Just so he... Did I change the power balance a little bit? No, that didn't do anything at all. I now have one power here, but we don't have any provinces, so... Yeah, I don't know what we're doing there. Whatever. He's 
not sitting idle around at least. Alright, we need to look into some more conquests. I think Benin will be next. So let's go ape shit here and go crazy and stuff. Colonize Calabar. Ooh, colonial enthusiasm. Now that would be helpful. Actually, let's just do that. Let's just do that. So we'll recall him for now. We'll send him here. For a day or, you know, he's just he's gonna chill there for like a second. And of course the rebel the guys the guys rebelled immediately and kicked us out, but that doesn't matter, we got the bonus. Which means that this colony will finally grow. Yay! Remove a domain from the map. Now I can do that, can't I? Well, do we have a truce with them? We do. It's gonna end in a while then. Prove legitimacy. Fortify Mushi. I like the idea of that. Although I kind of want to build some manpower buildings elsewhere though. Although this is going to give us manpower so I guess it's alright. Mushy. Yeah, we have converted it so it's, it's... You know, it's okay to build a fort there. Time for another idea which will give us conquistadors and what have you. But I think I want to do conquest for now. Let's just fabricate claims on all of the land of Benin and then we'll just swoop in and annex them. Alright. We can do more conversion. Let's go ahead and make sure we always do that. We always want to be doing something about that. Oh, so nice that our colony is finally actually growing a little bit. Legitimate is getting frustratingly low though. Which is kinda scary, to be honest. Whoa, hello. Someone just came into existence. Do you have any gold, that's Shanti? So okay, this is interesting. So there are more nations that will pop up after a while. I guess it's all historic. Look at Kong, wow, look at Kong. And they're actually friendly towards me, so we could ally them. Yeah, I could even afford it. Maybe. Of course, all of these assholes are allied to each other. This this whole Kong thing is actually really bad. Because now there's no way for me to get into this land, because I'm blocked by my own allies. Protectorate of Portugal. No! Ah, oh, really? Crap. That is actually really bad. I really hope they don't do any more of that. Because that is really quite nasty. Because now I cannot attack them. Yeah, look at that. Stupid Portugal. Not until I become strong enough to defeat Portugal anyways. Huh. Oh well. If there was only a way I could convince everyone to turn on Songhai, that would be great. And my god, I want to vassalize Timbuktu so badly. Look, everyone is friendly towards me. No, Timbuktu is friendly. Ali, hmm. If it hadn't been for this stupid alliance between Songhai and like everyone else, I wouldn't have minded anything. So maybe I should have begun colonizing. Oh, pretenders. Oh, okay. Kavar. Where is Kavar? It's over there. Ugh. Ugh. Why are you doing this to me, game? Why are you doing this? Any more good missions? Protect brethren in Atsakora. Yeah. That we can do at some point. So they're Muslim, aren't they? Hmm. Truth is gonna go away soon, so we should be allowed, you know, pretty capable of just doing that. Gain core province, good. Just can't, still can't believe I actually forgot to be in coring that, it's kind of embarrassing. 
in piety or lose it. No, we're still we're going to be conquering plenty of pagans, so having some piety doesn't hurt. Right, so those died very easily, so that is nice. Let's make sure we split these guys up this time, so we don't have to deal with any of this nastiness called attrition. Okay, so Kong no longer likes us. That's fair enough, I guess. Oh, this, these, these webs of alliances, they're awful. Okay, so the Ashanti have no gold in this version of the game. It's all, all the gold is over here. Not as much gold here anymore, is there? I don't know. Still though, they have good wear, slaves. Are they, no, actually, slaves are not very valuable. They're actually kind of not valuable at all. Uh, that's, I guess, annoying, but that should change. It's 1503. I, I don't know, when did they begin importing slaves into the Americas? Didn't that begin around this time? I guess they haven't killed all the local Indians yet, so <laughs> they need to do that. Fucking hell. American history is so sad. I guess every history is sad at some point though, really. I think the Norwegians were some of the biggest slavers. Like at least in like around like year... Like during the Viking Age, you know. I guess it was not just Norwegians, it was just... Vikings and Norse people in general were like really big slavers. So I guess all people are guilty of... Like I don't know, is there any people at all on this earth who have not done anything slavery stuff. Maybe like, I don't know, you know, Inuits. Like, I don't know, have they ever done slavery? Native Americans, have, have, have they ever done it? I don't know. I don't know the history of slavery. It's not my expertise area. I just remember that they said in a dev diary that once the slave trade to America begins, uh, slaves will be worth a lot, so we better get that going. Or we, we better conquer all the slaves. Alright. So we have a quieter course. Uh, we do not have any truces. Mali will join, but I don't even think we need them, because... Actually, Mossy, could we ally with Benin and Dagbon? Hmm. What I could do instead is I could declare war here and I could select both of these guys as like co people. That would bring me into war with Ashanti as well, though. Don't think that's too bad, though. I think I can handle all of those nations on my own. Yep. I think that will be doable. And that will just make allow me to just annex everything basically and just go a little bit apeshit there, but that's alright. I want to claim on Mossy first though, if I'm gonna do that. Take that route. So that will that we will do. Because we are actually sending some money. Um Oh god. Well I'm not gonna This colony's taken too many like how many years has this colony taken? I don't even know. Does it say here how many years this shit has taken? It is madness how long this has taken. If it hadn't been for that lucky mission, we would have never finished. We're gonna keep a lookout for those kind of missions. If we want to get any colonial uh, progress. But this is gonna give us that coast that I would want. Of course, we're really close now to get it getting coast anyways, but whatever. We want to get the Gold Coast. So yeah, conquer Ashanti, get the Gold Coast. And then God knows what we will do. We'll have to come up with some fancy plan to begin invading all these Muslims over here. We're running out of pagans! Uh, oh, well, there's nothing I can do about that. My legitimacy is getting dangerously low. Let's bring all troops down here, so that when we begin the war, we can just squish Benin day one. I don't know what Dogbon got going for them. 
And a shanty as well. Ho hopefully they're not too strong. If they are, then that will be bad. Yeah, we might also just call Molly into this. I don't know if they're going to be able to do anything. Well, they are allied to Kong, aren't they? At least somewhat friendly to Kong. So, you know, Jolof, enemies... They don't care about Kong, so most likely they get to walk through them. So they might actually be able to help me out in this war. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, okay, so unrest has actually gone up now. So you might face another revolt in this area. That would be annoying. But what are you gonna do? Alright, we're ready for war. Let's go. Okay, now they're also allied to who now? Dagbon, Dalme, who where's Dalme? Dalme. Okay, yeah, well, we have a claim on them as well, don't we? No? And they're al only allied to Mossy. So I wouldn't really mind taking them as well. So yeah, let's go do that. <laughs> let's just annex everyone. Let's just go for it, man. Let's just go for it. Hopefully we'll get the force limit that we need to deal with these rebels by taking all this land. And we can always go a little bit over the limits. Not a big deal when it comes to force limit. You know, we can handle it. I think we're strong enough, strong enough at this point to go a little bit crazy without being too afraid. Our colony is going to finish any day now, so that's nice. Still would like to figure out why I have no trade power here. Like, I just wish I knew where's where does all this power come from how does this work uh, gain more piety yeah gain some piety gain some piety I think we can pretty safely take another idea now not that it's worth anything to us, but it's a step closer to getting the things we really want. Yep. <laughs> okay, now let's go crazy. Molly will not join. What? Defensive? Aw, oh, really? Really? Uh, can we handle this on our own? I think we can. I mean, they are outnumbering us, I'm sure, but... I'm not too worried about that, to be honest. Are there any other wars going on right now? No? Well, whatever. Let's just get this done. Song I will actually join against Benin, but I don't... I want to fight... I want to fight Mossy, because I want to get all the allies in here. But Nin will be a target thingy. Dalmay will be that, and Dog Bon will be that. Only Bonamon will get left out this time around. Of course, increasing maintenance before we go to war is always a practical thing to do. Yay, self sustaining colony! <laughs> Sweet, that didn't take forever at all. Okay, so now we can go for the Gold Coast. We need to get over here and kill the locals first, though. So we'll want to do that. But not right now. Not right now. Oh, hello. Ooh, okay. Now this kind of changes things a little bit, you see, because... Now, it's going to be plenty easier to get over here. Okay, so I think I've changed my mind. I want to go colonize this way. Yeah, the Europeans can have the coast. I mean, we need them. We need 
we need them to have some coast at some point because I need that westernization at some point, you know? So yeah, we'll colonize our way over here now. I guess that's going to be our escape for not being able to take all this. We'll go over here instead and take all this. Yay! Plans and stuff. Alright, morale is up. Funding is good. Let's go to war. Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Join the war already! Why are you so slow? There we go. That didn't take forever at all. And you're gonna run away. And you're gonna build a doom stack. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's get the large one first. Get it out of the way. Move, bitch. Get out of the way. Get bitch out of the way. I don't know the lyrics really well. I just need. I just know that you need to move. Bitch. Squish them all. all right, I think we can leave some troops here now. Now the rest of us travel along. Killing all these newly born stacks. Whose existence we can't accept. That's for sure. Yep, they're in the war as well. Okay. And you're dead. Oh, come on guys, stop building troops. Seriously, you've lost already. Accept your faith. Wow, holy shit. You're really going for it, aren't you? Two thousand there, two thousand there. Darn you people in building forts. Here we don't need that many troops though. So we'll bring an infantry dude down to a bomb name. It's not gonna be enough, but Oh well. Gaining good prestige from all these battles though. Sadly, we won't be able to 100% this war. Alright. Get a derp out of this army. And send him over there. And that should be it. Or not. Uh, how many dudes are here? 2,000. Can't really pull anyone out of that army, really. Oh, I see mostly Patriots. Maybe we'll want to... Vasilize them then. Yeah, here's the thing. That might actually... Whoa, ho, 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 I thought we were done with this. Okay, I was not ready for that one. I'm gonna be honest about that. Bad timing. Bad, bad timing. I'm not gonna abandon my sieges. But yeah, if we can make... Mossy a vassal then that should allow us to do some serious vassal feeding because these guys have cores all over and we might even be able to use that like fight on behalf of your vassal cast spelling don't know exactly how that works yet but I know it's a thing We're getting a force together here that might at some point be able to face off against some of the rebels. Hmm. This is really quite bad. Okay, let's try and finish this one. Come on, quickly, quickly. I can just get that one over with. Yeah, we'll give up all this for now. Well, you have rebels to kill. So let's all gather where now. Uh, I guess in that one. So 
So they just finished. So we'll keep up the occupations for now, just so we don't have to deal with the unrest there. Oh, what the hell happened? Already? That was quick. Oh, they sallied out, I guess. Okay. No, they didn't. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was then. How did they just spawn a bunch of troops out of nowhere? I don't know how that works. No idea. Oh well, we'll need to go for this attack. So we were able to kill them off, but at what cost? Let's get some tech. Can now build cannons. Let's get some quick mercenaries here. This army is terribly unbalanced, and we need to change that. Get some mercenary money in the bank. Okay, everyone gather up. Let's see if we can pull this off. Can we? Can we? Can we? We can! Yes! Alright, good. All right, good. Ashanti didn't actually join in. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay, one more rebel. And then we will we'll, we'll be done. Darn it, this nationalism is never going to go away now. And my stupid, stupid enemies are building up again as well. This is so interesting. I like this re this rebellion here caught me really by surprise. There's no other way of putting it. gonna have to do the really awkward thing of just gathering our troops up here. They are kind of messed up regardless of what we do here. Okay. Guess we can build up some warriors again. Just to get someone who can siege a little bit. Okay, so what kind of garrison are we talking here? A thousand, two thousand, two thousand. This cabinet should strengthen up any day. think that these rebel provinces are occupied like that is too much of an issue. So you can see the issue about these rebellions. They are really bad, but uh, the fact that we are fighting them down, you can see the autonomy here is nothing compared to what it is going on over in like, you know, these places. I mean, we've owned these places for forever and they are still frustratingly autonomous. So these regions are like the really they're the ones actually providing us with good stuff. Right, let's finish this war. Actually, I wouldn't mind having some access against or for those people. And send my new awesome army over here and go siege. Although that might actually force me to face up with the actual mossy army though. Yep, that's that's the mossy army, all right. And these patriots seems to be actually winning, so I want this vassalage to happen. Will they accept right now? No. Crap. Okay, we desperately need this. Uh, these guys are totally going to win. No denying that. That's actually a lot more important than all of these other dumb wars combined, so... Let's all gather... Get this done. A 
Okay, so the Kong are still fighting back though, but it kind of looks like these guys are going to do it. Yeah, they're fighting. Uh, they're losing. Oh, poor Kong. Fuck you, Kong. Go away. Okay, Mossy, you want to be my vassal now? No? Alright, we have a siege to win then. We should grab some more troops, actually. Let's get some mercenaries. We have the money to afford it. It's alright. Need to get these rebel provinces back as well. Oh, what do you think you're doing? Get over here. Alright. Uh, yep. Let's go over here. Get besieging. Could actually lend these rebels some support. But that's gonna do nothing but just increase the... Although we might be able to fight for them. Yeah, these are Mossy Patriots, but these are Nyatinga Nationalists, that doesn't really help me. Local unrest. So we could support them by quite a lot of cash. But that will do nothing but increase... like, the revolt has already happened, so... Although this might give us the Casas Belly to declare war for their support. I'll, but I won't deal with this until I know for a fact that I will get to vassalize mostly, and it doesn't look like it actually will be that smart. Although it kind of will, because doing all that vassal feeding will be cool anyways. So yeah. Let's just finish this war. Ooh, yes. Nobility cannot be bought, indeed. Free stability, nothing like it. Alright. No purpose in paying for this army this much anymore. The only thing, though, is there's no real way for us to be able to get into a war against the Kong. Unless Mali would like to join that. Would we call into multiple wars? What are you talking about? If I could get Mali on my side and Timbuktu, this would be a great war. Would give me an excuse to attack Songhai and... It would let me feed my potential vassal. Yes. I like the idea of it. That defensive attitude is kind of killing us. Although the fact that they have a really nasty... So, it, yeah. Would we call into multiple wars? Don't know what they're talking about here. Oh yeah, it's because they're at war with someone else. Okay, so I think this could be done. We can probably invade Kong. And annex their gold. Oh, gold. Yeah, get land for... Okay, so we'll vassalize Mossi. We'll annex everyone else. We'll piss the world off, but that's fine. And they just revolted. Well, shit. Well, shit. Oh, better get our troops gathered up then. Embrace them for attack. Because those rebels will need to be killed. Of course, it's going to be quite a while until we can begin fighting Kong and what have you, but... Because we're going to be dealing with a lot of rebel fighting in the future now. I don't know how crazy I will go here on the annexations. I think I will go pretty crazy. Oh, 
Okay, good. That should give us the troops we need to defeat these rebels. Although maybe not, actually. We have a bad balance here. What if we got some mercenaries? Then we could probably do it. Ah, crap. And we have to siege that as well. Darn it. Do they have a lot of dudes here? Ugh. Maybe it's a sign from the gods that we are not supposed to... We're not supposed to be annexing these guys. I guess it wouldn't be... It wouldn't hurt if we took it a little bit relaxed here. Yeah, fine, let's just get out of this by annexing Benin and Abomne and vassalizing uh, Man Mossi. Right. Dahomey. Full annexation, please. Uh, thank you very much. And Benin. Full annexation. Uh, thank you very much. And Mossy here. For you, we have a special course of vassalization. Correctly, vassalize Dagbon and whatnot as well. Nah, I'm not gonna bother. Just on all your treaties. Well, that doesn't make any sense. I don't want you to rock your course. Yeah, yeah, this can work. Alright. Nah, I don't want your money. It's just gonna give us inflation. Alright, that was a good war. Took a long time, and now we're gonna be dealing with a lot of rebels. Brace yourself, rebels are coming! Nothing to do about that, though. We better just begin coring stuff. Let's get an idea, though. Production efficiency. We have our first thing. Land of Nagazagamu. Nagazamu was the fortified capital of Kanembornu Empire. Uh, the Kanembornu Empire. It was this area the core of the leaders lived. Production efficiency. Okay. So, I'm guessing over here there's something special going on? I don't know. Whatever. Kanemburnu is strong though. Holy shit, look at this. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. But yeah, uh, cores. Yes, and yes, and yes. Really cheap. Except for the problems of Benin. I guess that's because they have decent tax. Now we have some more pagans to deal with. That's alright though. So it must be. Alright. Uh, we can also increase this technology here. Do we want to do that? I guess so. Let's wait a little bit though. There's no, no rush in getting that. Making good cash though, but that's because our army's kind of not really built up. Let's build some mortars. Some cannons. So we can have 19 troops. 19,000 troops. Let's get just that. 19,000. I think that will be for the best. But I also think it will be for the best. Uh, well, voice crack. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> yeah, I think it will be for the best if we end this episode here. So thanks so much for watching this episode and until next time, bye.